so good to see you. You have no idea how worried I've it's been. Okay. It's okay. Um, Maggie, what are you doing here? Can we talk inside? Want. 2007 has gotten off to a pretty lame start. It's seeing me made it worse. Look, I've just been really worried about you. Please tell me you're okay. Danielle Fry was attacked today. Oh, no. And we have no idea if she's going to make it. And you already know about Simone and Aaron Lavery. My mother's marriage is falling apart. Miranda and I have to travel around 24-7 with bodyguards. My sister is being forced to live away from her son. And neither of us can eat or drink anything that hasn't been tested because it might have been poisoned. So am I okay? Yeah. I'm great. I'm, I'm so sorry that I haven't been here for Why aren't you almost. here? I could have told you how I was doing over the telephone. I need to see you face to face. Why? Guilt. You want to make sure that I don't spend my days curled up in a little ball crying my eyes out over you? Well, as you can see, my eyes are dry. Conscience clear? Good. You can go now. Go home to Cecilia and tell her that you're all hers 100%. Would you stop? I came here because I had to see you. There aren't enough sorries in the world for that. Miranda's asleep. How's she doing? She's good. She's, uh, you know, happy to be surrounded by family. She loves her new cousin Spike a lot. I miss her so much. You know, I'd love to see her. Is that why you're here? I told you why I'm here. I am here to see you and make sure you're okay. But yes, of course, I would love mm, to no, see you. I'm sorry, you can't. Bianca, please. My daughter loves you. She thought of you as a mom. It hit her really hard when you bailed on us. It's only recently that she stopped asking when you were coming home. I had no idea. Well, of course you didn't, because you didn't care. Because you were so sprung over Cecilia that you didn't give me or Miranda a second thought. That is not true. I miss you guys. Especially you. I made the biggest mistake of my life walking out on you. And I am so incredibly sorry. Will you please forgive me? Did Cecilia dump you? I mean, is that why you're suddenly so sorry? I broke up with her. After we spoke on New Year's Eve, I realized how stupid I was to walk away from you. I love you so much. I miss you more than words can say. And not just you, but the life that we had together. And when the next Cecilia comes along and tells you that she can't live without you, are you still going to feel the same way about me? It's not going to be another Cecilia. What I did was wrong on a million levels, but it made me... It made me see how much I love you. How beautiful you are. How perfect we were together. I want you back. I want us back. I don't know what you expect me to say. Say that you will let me spend the rest of our lives fixing what I broke. Making it up to you. Loving you. What am I supposed to do? 
Just forget about what you did? You know, while you were off with Cecilia doing God knows what, I was here scraping my heart off the floor. I'm a different person now, Maggie. You changed me. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. You know what I'm sorry about? I'm sorry that my friends are dying. I'm sorry that my sister could be next. I'm sorry that Spike might lose his mom. That's what I'm sorry about. Well, if you'd let me, maybe I could help oh, you deal with this. No, I, no, I'm sorry, I can't. My plate is full. I have no room for anything else or anyone else, not even you, especially not you. No, hugging me is not gonna help this. Bianca, please, can't we? No, we, I, I just, I want you to leave. I'll be at the Valley Inn if you do decide you want to see me. I'm not giving up. And I'm not going to Paris without you. <laughs>